Before starting the tutorial, I'd like to let you know that you can get this crochet college bear pattern for free on Ribbler. If you don't have time to watch this whole video, go to ribbler.com and check out my free pattern. Or you can click the link in the description box below. With that being said, let's start the tutorial. Let's make the ears first. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. And rub it till the other end and hold it with your middle finger. Then insert your hook under the loops. Pull the second loop to the front and twist it. Then chain one. Yarn over and pull through the yarn through the loop. Now let's start making single crochet. Insert your hook into the ring. Pull the yarn. You got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the two loops. Repeat making single crochet until you get 8 single crochets in total. After 8 single crochet, pull the tail and the ring will be closed completely. Then let's move on to round 2. For round 2, you have to make 8 single crochet. That means you have to single crochet each stitch. When you start the first single crochet of round 2, Put a stitch marker on it so you will not lose the starting point of round 2. After that you have to single crochet each stitch until you reach the start point. When you reach the stitch marker, remove it and start round 3. For round 3, you will also have to make 8 single crochet. That means you have to single crochet each stitch. And also for round 4, make single crochet into each stitch. After round 4, cut the yarn and leave the long toe for sewing. Then make another ear. For the arms, make 10 single crochet into the magic ring. Then from round 2 to 4, Make single crochet into each stitch. Also for the arms, make two in total. Now let's start making the legs. For round four, make six single crochet into the magic ring. After 6 single crochet, pull the tail and the ring will be closed completely. After that, let's start round 2. For round 2, you have to make an increase into each stitch. An increase stitch means you have to make 2 single crochet in 1 stitch. You made 6 single crochet in round 1, but in round 2, you have to increase each stitch so you will get 12 stitches in total. Don't forget to put a stitch marker on the first stitch of a new round, so you will not lose the starting point. For round 3 and 4, you have to make single crochet into each stitch. You will get a total of 12 single crochet in each round. When you finished making round 4, first turn off and make another leg, but don't cut the yarn off the second leg.
After round four of second leg, chain one. Remove the stitch marker and we will join the two legs together. Make a single crochet on the first leg. You can make that single crochet in any stitch you like. Insert your hook into the stitch you will make single crochet, then yarn over, yarn over and pull through the two loops. And you got the first single crochet of round 5. Put a stitch marker on that stitch and we will continue making round 5. For round 5, you have to make single crochet into each stitch. And the pattern means make 12 single crochet on the leg. And then 1 single crochet on the chain 1 space. Then 12 single crochet on the leg and one single crochet on the chain one space. After this round, you will get a total of 26 stitches. Now I'm making 12 single crochet on the first leg. Then I will show you how to make a single crochet in chain one space. Now I reach the chain one space. So insert your hook under the chain. Then make a single crochet. After that, make 12 single crochet on the second leg, then the last single crochet in the chain 1 space, and you will complete round 5. Remember, you should get a total of 26 stitches. So now I finished making round 5, for round 6, 7 and 8, make single crochet into each stitch and you will get a total of 26 stitches in each round. In round 9, you will also have to make single crochet each stitch, but when you reach the side, you will have to attach the arm and repeat making the stitches. Then when you reach another side, attach an arm and you have to complete round 9. So now I will show you how to make that. First, make 6 single crochet. And then when you reach the side, we will attach an arm, insert your hook into any stitch of the arm. Put the arm like this and insert your hook into a stitch of the arm. And the next stitch you have to walk. Then pull the yarn, pull through those two stitches, then make a single crochet. So now you attached an arm with the body, then make 12 single crochet, and after 12 single crochet, attach an arm. Then after that, make the last 6 single crochet. You will get like this after attaching the arms, and for round 10, you will have to make single crochet into each stitch. Now I've made 6 single crochet. Then I will show you how to make single crochet on the arm. Repeat making single crochet into each stitch and you will get a total of 46 stitches. The body has 26 stitches but the arm each has 10 stitches so when you calculate all the stitches there will be 46 stitches in total. For round 11, decrease all the stitches, 2 degrees, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn, insert your hook into another stitch, pull the yarn, 
you got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now repeat making this decrease stitch until you reach the start point and you will get 23 stitches in total. Step the arms, legs and the body of the bear before moving on to the next round. For this new round, you have to make a single crochet first and then decrease, make decrease stitches for 11 times. You will get a total of 12 stitches. For round 3, make friend loop only increases into each stitch. It is the same with making 2 stitches in one stitch, which is called an increase, but friend loop only means you have to insert your hook into the friend loop of the stitch. I will show you how where to put where to put your hook. So here Insert your hook into just the front loop of the stitch and then make a single crochet. It's okay if you can make front loop only increase, just make normal increases until you reach the stitch marker. But you should get a total of 24 stitches. Currently, we are moving onto the head, so you should get the right number of stitches. For this round, make a single crochet and then make an increase into the next stitch. To make an increase, you have to make two single crochet in one stitch. After repeating those two stitches, you complete this pattern for one time. In total, you have to repeat this for 12 times, so after this increase, make one single crochet into the next stitch and an increase into another stitch. Repeat this until you reach the stitch marker and you will get a total of 36 stitches. From round 15 to 20, make single crochet into each stitch and you will get a total of 36 stitches in each round. If you use safety eyes for the amigurumi, stick them on round 18 and there must be at least 3 stitches between the eyes. What I mean is that the eyes must be 3 stitches apart. For round 21, make 4 single crochet and then a decrease stitch. You have to repeat this pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 30, 30 stitches. 
So now I'm making four single crochet first. And I will make a decrease. You can also make decrease in another way by inserting your hook into the front loops of next two stitches and then make a single crochet. Repeat making four single crochet and a decrease until you reach the point where you started. For round 22, make 3 single crochet and then a decrease stitch. Repeat this pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 24 stitches. Round 23 and 24 are also similar with the pattern of round 22. For round 23, make 2 single crochet and a decrease. Repeat this and you will get 18 stitches. For round 24, make a single crochet and decrease and you will get a total of 12 stitches. After these rounds, stuff the head and move on to round 25. For round 25, make 6 decreases. You can use any kinds of ways you make for the decrease stitch but you have to get a total of 6 stitches. After this round, fasten off and use your dining needle to sew the last round. This is how I sew the ear on the head. You can use any kinds of sewing methods you want. For the nose, use white yarn or beige color yarn and make a magic ring. Then make 5 single crochet into it. Don't forget to pull the tail of the ring.
Then insert your hook into the first single crochet, pull the yarn and pull through the loop and you made a slip stitch. After that, leave a long toe for sewing. Sew the nose between the eyes. You can use any kinds of sewing methods you want. And after that, stick the black bead or use black thread to add more details on the nose. For the earmuffs, make 8 single crochet into the magic ring and make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Then leave a long tail for sewing and I will show you how to sew the earmuffs on the bear. When you finished sewing the earmuffs, make a slip knot and then attach the yarn on one of the earmuffs. Insert your hook into a stitch of the earmuffs and pull the loop. Then make 10 chains. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Make 10 chains. And then after that, make a slip stitch onto the another earmuff. Insert your hook into a stitch of another earmuff. Pull the yarn and pull through the loop, then chain one and cut the yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. For the heart, use a smaller hook and check the video of my mini bear pouch crochet tutorial or you can check the full pattern on Ribbler. So now the tutorial is finished. Congratulations, you made the cutest bear amigurumi. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like this video and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more of like this in the future. Don't forget to follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!